If you're interested in another Aldi taste test, then you're going to want to keep watching. Hey friends, it's Kelly and welcome back to Mama Needs a Goal. Thank you so much for joining me today and if you're new here, welcome, welcome. So friends, today I am doing another Aldi taste test for you. Um, I know I just did one recently, but I could not resist this one. I was looking at the Aldi finds and they had this and with it being St. Patrick's Day, I thought this was perfect. It is the Irish beef stew. It's made with premium beef. See that? Um, I paid $9.99 for this. Um, it's microwavable, so it's going to go right in the microwave. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to grab this because I really like beef stew and I'm the only one. And to make a big pot just for myself is a little bit crazy. And I thought, I'm going to go ahead and make this and I can have this for my lunches. Um, and it's relatively healthy, so I thought, you know what, why not do a quick taste test? So this will be a quick and easy one. So let me open it up, show you what it looks like, and then we're going to plop, plop it, <laughs> and then we're going to pop it right in the microwave. All right, my friends, let's go ahead and open this up. This was in the refrigerated section. It is not frozen. And there you have it. And this is what's inside. It says to open it up and put it in the microwave tray. So let me grab my scissors real quick and we'll get it done. Alrighty, got my kitchen scissors. Go ahead and open this up. Gotta smell it. Mm, smells pretty good. Go ahead and dump that right in there. Honestly, friends, this does not look like a lot. I thought I was going to get four meals out of this. <laughs> I might get two. Alright, so I'm kind of seeing how much is in here. I'm a little surprised. Curious what the serving size is. Per one cup serving, it is three servings. I don't know, my friends. Either I'm a really big eater, <laughs> or <laughs> I'm gonna actually cut these potatoes in half. Actually, I think I'm gonna cut them in quarters. Like I said, the, this is already cooked. You're just heating it up. I'm going to cut these. Some big chunks of beef in there though. Look at that. See that? So it would help if I had a fork. <laughs> I have a very small mouth and a normal bite to a person is a huge bite to me. I know I'm very loud, but I do have a very small mouth. It drives me insane actually. So I'm going to take a paper towel and wet it a little bit and lay it over top and then I'm going to heat it. It says to heat it for four minutes, take it out, stir it, put it back in for another four minutes, take it out, stir it, and then put it back in for two more minutes. So it's a total of 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't think you need to see me do all that and then we'll do a taste test at the end. All right. So here it is, friends. I just damp dampened a paper towel. Um, and I'm going to throw it right in. I do that because it helps keep the moisture in a little bit. This has a lot of juice in there. So you really, I guess you really don't need to do it for that. But I do that a lot. Um, so we're going to put it in for four minutes. And then like I said, I will, oops, got to hit start. I will go ahead and start after four, put it back in and do all that. And come back at the end and show you and do a taste test. All right, my friends, it just came out. Definitely did not need that extra two minutes with my microwave. You might with yours, I don't know, but mine I did not for sure. Just gonna mix it up really well, get everything covered. And then we're gonna go ahead and do a taste test. All right, my friends, here it is. I'm gonna give you a close up at the end so you can see what it looks like. So we're gonna do a quick little taste test. 
it's hot. <laughs> Potatoes are tender. Let's get some of that. Mmm. Carrots are tender. Let's try the carrot. Not bad, friends. Let's try a piece of the beef. Friends, I like it. I like it. I would definitely buy this again. Absolutely nothing wrong with it. it tastes like beef stew. Um, it's got a little bit of different taste than what I make, but I really like it. It's pretty good. It's absolutely pretty good. Now, to me, that whole package fit into that bowl. And that was $10. Price-wise, I don't think it's a good value. Just saying. I just, I, that, that's my lunch. I can eat that whole thing by myself. $10 is a lot of money, but there is beef in there. So, uh, you know, if I can find beef cheaper, I freeze it and make my... Um, be stew that way so if you need something in a pinch i think this is perfect um but it definitely it says three ser three servings you're gonna have to have a serving and then some sides with it maybe some crusty bread or something for sure in order to stretch it to three servings i'm eating it for lunch and i'll eat this whole bowl <laughs> maybe i'm just a big eater i don't know give this a thumbs up um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and hit that little like button. Also, don't forget, hit that little subscribe button as it does greatly help me out. And if you have time, go check me out over on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and TikTok as I am active on all those social media sites as well. So friends, thanks so much for joining me. I really do appreciate it and I will see you next time. Bye!